We're online. You're listening to the hottest internet station. Hello and welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video wherein I'm going to show y'all how I prepare for online school every morning. So disclaimer, I'm a morning person so I tend to be more productive when I wake up earlier and that's why I always try to wake up at around 8. After I check my phone, I always open up my curtains first because it really helps my eyes wake up. Next, I try my best to do my Bible devotions. It just helps to relax and prep me for a whole new stressful day in online school. I usually take around 10 to 15 minutes to meditate, but I won't really go in depth on how I do it. So I link down below the template I used that I made myself if you guys want to do it too. So here's a time lapse of just me doing it and hopefully you guys are inspired and also do it because it's really relaxing and honestly calms me down when I'm feeling super stressed. Afterwards, I also tried to do this stretching video from YouTube. I've been using it since last semester and it's really helped relax my body from the pain of sitting all day in online school. I don't do this every day because sometimes I really am too lazy but like I said, I always feel way better and ready to get out of bed whenever I do it. And before I leave my room, it's been a habit of mine to fix and make my bed. Kind of like a separation between sleeping and finally starting my day. Then I finally go down to eat. My family isn't the type to eat big fancy breakfasts because we're all busy with school or work in the morning. So lately, I've been cooking myself the easiest thing to make, scrambled eggs with ketchup. I also love breakfast because at this time, I'm not yet stressed with schoolwork. So I use it to watch the latest show I'm obsessed with, aka The Penthouse Season 2 right now. <laughs> Next, I make my own coffee, which is also my favorite part of the morning since it's so calming. I used to use our coffee maker. You guys can check out my old recipe in my online school tips video. But lately, it's been easier and yummier to do this Dalgona recipe since we have so much leftover instant coffee no one's using. And I don't know why the froth doesn't work for our coffee, but nevertheless, it's still super yummy. Afterwards, I take my vitamins and this other pill my dermatologist gave me so I can remove my dark scars on my face. But yeah, since I don't really eat healthy, so I really take vitamins so that I don't die. Choke. Now, the next part of my morning is going back upstairs to clean myself up. I usually bathe in the evening, but when it gets too hot since I live in the Philippines, I also shower in the morning, but just for my body. And my face isn't doing that well lately, so I reduced my skincare routine to the most basic things and products, aka face wash and moisturizer. Aside from Cetaphil, I also use Rexona for my armpits and petroleum jelly for my lips. Sometimes I'd put on eyebrows just to feel less plain because I really miss dressing up for school. But I always put my hair in a ponytail because it's so hot in the Philippines. So the last part of my routine is actually getting in the mood for online school. <laughs> so that's why I've been letting in natural light and opening up the windows so I feel like I could actually breathe in my room. <laughs> and my desk is usually a mess from the day before so I first organize it and put things back to where they were. This also saves me more time in the long run since a clean desk really helps me focus in my schoolwork. And as you can see from my past vlogs and on the screen, I always always have two drinks with me. My big bottle that keeps my water cold for hours and my iced coffee. And hopefully by this time, I'm already in the mood to be productive so I open up my laptop and plan out my task list for the day. So I'm on macOS Big Sur and now I prefer the calendar and reminders widget so that my tasks and deadlines are synced across all my Apple devices. So recently, my friend convinced me to make timed daily agendas and I've been doing this every day for the past few weeks and personally, it's super effective because it helps me manage my time by setting how long I should take on a certain task. Lastly, since I'm the type of student who needs to have something playing in the background to work, I blast music with my speakers 
or earphones if I'm on a deep focus mood. And afterwards, it's time to work! So before we end today's video, I would like to thank Skillshare for working with me. And as you guys probably already know, Skillshare is an online learning platform that I've been working with for the past year. And through this, you're given access to a wide range of resources from art, digital or traditional, business, photography, video editing, you name it, it's there. I haven't had any inspiration or motivation to do any kind of art for myself. And I think this mainly comes from the huge pressure from online, from social media to be a great and perfect artist rather than a growing one. So this is why Illustrated Journaling 14 Days of Prompts by Dylan caught my eye. I wanted to restore the calming feeling I get from making art. And so I love how Skillshare classes really try to guide us into the skill we want to learn. Their videos are quick and easy to understand and the teachers provide us resources to use and we can even see others progress on their own project and here's my project I'm working on from the Skillshare class I took and I'm really having fun with it and I'm so glad I took it it's a genuine space for learning for learners which I really love so if you guys want to try it with me you can click the link I put in the description box for a free trial of the premium membership after which you guys have to pay their normal regular affordable price of less than $10 a month for a whole year thank you guys for watching and sticking till the end and thank you again Skillshare for sponsoring today's video bye see you next week